everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Good morning, everybody. Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. How are we doing? Yep, it's still morning. I'm still working on the coffee. Um, today is my film day, get caught up day, get some stuff done day, that kind of stuff. So, here we are, Explorations of Me for July. All right, what is this month's prompt? This month's prompt is, what are your three pet peeves? What are three of your pet peeves? What can you do to get beyond them? Um... And, you know, what is it about them that makes them your pet peeves? That looks like a good page, doesn't it? So, what I'm going to do is I have a bunch of paints here. Um, I have some, a bunch of paint left over here from another project. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use that paint. And let's just get this these pages something put on them. How's that sound? So my three pet peeves, they're going to be strange ones, especially for some of you people that um, have never been on a dairy farm. <laughs> ah, I just laugh because my first pet peeve, well, actually, it's not my first. My very first pet peeve, I have to tell you, it drives me insane when people take the butter knife and lay it over the butter dish when they're done buttering whatever they're buttering. I don't know why. I just know it drives me crazy. I'm like, please just take it off and put it on your own plate. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. I just don't like it. It's, it's just not right. <laughs> so that is my first pet peeve. Isn't that funny? So my family has learned a long time ago. <laughs> you don't just lay your knife across the butter dish i don't like that what you normally what i end up doing is i take it and i flip it <laughs> i'm like no it doesn't belong there um why i don't know why it doesn't make any sense to me but you know we're all different so that's that's my first pet peeve. this is cool isn't that cool i like the way it's coming out i love doing this with just leftover paint and just never know what you'll find you know what you'll get it's really cool. I don't want to use that brown in here though, so that's gonna to have to go on another page. So we just got a bunch of yellow, a bunch of, sorry about the pounding. My hubby is fixing the outside of my addition. Um, let me just finish this up and then I'll stop for a few minutes while he does his pounding. So that's my first pet peeve. All right, uh, let me go ahead and dry this up. See what's up with him. See how long he's going to be doing the pounding. And then we're going to come back and talk about my second and my third pet peeve. All right. I'll be back with you in a second. All right, guys. We're going to try something. This is pretty dry. Now, what I did is I took a little bit of this purple. Here's my first one. See, that would drive me insane. That just, I want to, I take my knife and flip it. <laughs> Anyways, um, I've got some, um... What do you call this? These are just, they're glue. I played with a glue gun and played around with some paint. And I just want to make some marks. Not a lot, apparently. And nope, it's not working the way I wanted it to. Take off some of that big blobs. Kind of hoping I could take it and... Okay, I just need to get more, more of the surface painted, maybe. Hmm. Yay! All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, that's dry, and I'm. Eh, I'll play with that later. Um. So what I did is I went and I got. I think part of it is the paint's too light. So I went and a cup got a couple um, paints that are darker. I really love this black plum from Americana. I think it's now Deco Art, and this African violet. So this African violet I've never tried. That's not even open. So let's stick with the black plum. Black plum. 
and um, that one's garbage. Okay. What I'm going to do, I just put a little bit out on my palette. Now this is an, is an Andy Skinner um, stencil. Wow, my words are not here today again. And what I'm going to do is just play with it. I've never used it before. I just got it the other day. Um, and you, I know I've had people ask in the past, where do I get my stencils? 99.9% .9 of them I buy from Blitzy. Um, I like the stencils that are like in the 6x6 range, um, which I've showed you guys before, but um, sometimes, you know, there's just a stencil out there you got to have. doesn't matter what size it is, and this is one of them. I just thought this stencil looks so cool. Look at that. Ah, that's awesome! Love it! <laughs> Making me happy! And I thought, you know, what a great stencil to use for a pet peeve, right? Because what is a pet peeve? It's something that makes you go crazy and round and round and round. And this is awesome. Okay, so you guys heard my first pet peeve is with the butter dish. Now listen. <laughs> that doesn't mean when I get to meet you guys, and I know there's several of you I'll be meeting again, that doesn't mean you can put your butter, <laughs> your butter knife on the dish and make me go crazy. <laughs> So please don't do that. It does not make me happy. <laughs> uh, anyways, all right. So that's my first pet peeve. Second pet peeve. This one you guys are going to think is really, really strange. But let me um, first say my dad um, was a dairy farmer for many, 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 many years. Okay? And... I have another stencil here while we're playing. Oh, look at these tri no, I don't want these triangles. I want the stalls. Um, that being said, here you go, right here. This is going to be, is this is she cute? There's Nelly. We're going to call her Nelly. Um, that being said, there are farmers out there, and this, this just, it makes me mad, is what it does. Um, I'm going to use a dark blue for this. They cut off the cow's tails. Every time I go by a farm where they have cut off the cow's tails, I just get really upset. And the reason I do is the only purpose for cutting off a cow's tail is so that when you're milking them, they don't hit you in the face with their tail. Okay? Now, granted, we... They don't, and, and that's another thing, they don't even milk like they used to. We used to have to be underneath the cow and, and put on the milk tanks and all that kind of stuff, right? They don't even do that anymore. Yeah, they still put them on, but it's all done mechanically. So you're not going to be sitting there under that cow while it's being milked. And it just really, really bothers me that these farmers cut off their tails. Now, the cows use their tails to keep flies off them, to, you know, keep things from bothering them and farmers cut it off and it makes me so mad okay so that is my second pet peeve so here's my first don't put your knife on a butter dish stop cutting off the cow's tails there's no reason for it and this is my third my third is can you guess it yeah i don't want that garbage can in there i don't want that garbage can go away garbage can my third pet peeve is people that don't hold the door open. And I know we've talked about this on several of our calls and stuff. You know what? I don't need all of that either. So we're going to cut you down. Nelly. We're going to cut Nelly down. Um, there, there's no reason not to hold open a door for somebody. Right? Um, yeah, we'll leave it like that. There's just people just out there are rude and and it really bothers me especially when you come out the door and you see somebody that's within 2 feet of you and you just let the door go and let it slam in their face. You know, it's just wrong. So, I am going to get some kind of glue to glue these on and I will be right back. All right. So, now it's just time to play. Now it's time to play. This is just a um, Posca. And you know what? I really don't even need this. 
this on my phone and I'm gone so long. So, I can't wait to see what your pet peeves are. Because everybody has different ones. And I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, if we were all the same, life would be really dang boring. Right? I'm just having fun. So much fun. So, what else are we going to talk about today? I know people like it when I talk in my videos versus um, just speed throughing them. But, you know, sometimes when you don't have a lot on your mind, it's kind of hard to figure out what to talk about all the time. But, you know, hey, it's all good. It's all good. Let's put a dot there, line, dot there, line, dot there, line. This is so much fun. I love playing in this journal. This journal has been just so much fun for me. And again, it's only a composition notebook, but I don't care. I love it. I think it's great. Um, let's see. We're going to do dots. I have this thing for dots and lines lately. Don't know why. Up, 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 up. There we go. Dot, 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 dot. So, does, do my pet peeves sound weird to you? It's funny, because I don't even know... Uh, I, first of all, this is just plain rude. This, I just don't like. And that's just cruel. That's my opinion. So those are my three pet peeves. And um, I really hope... A farmer's watching. <laughs> Every It's so funny, because we'll go by the farm, and I'll be like good farmer and then I'll go buy another farm you see what that farmer did that farmer took all the tails off the cow so my husband's like let it go I'm like no it's not right I just got something sticky on my fingers um, I'm like no it's just not right <laughs> he laughs at me he's like honey you gotta let it go I think I just messed up my uniball pen I think I may have all right, we're going to put that aside for now. Should I put it up here? You know what? I haven't used this in a while. Let's use this. This is just a whiteout pen, a correction pen. I bought these in the dollar store the other day. And I want to see... Ooh, perfect. I might have to go back to the dollar store and get some more of these. Because, oh yeah. Wow, comes out really fast. Whoa. Really fast. I'm not even pushing. Let's see if I can get it to slow down a little bit. Hmm. Well, I got two stars like that. I got to do a third one. Hey, hey, what can I say? All right, that's different. Let me see. Is it right on that yes paste? Yeah, it will. Nelly, Nelly's good. Nelly's a good old cow. So funny, my dad. He, I mean, he loved his animals, and like I said, he was a farmer for many, many, many years, a dairy farmer. And um, <clears throat> he, uh, we used to pick on him at night. Dad, are you done kissing the cows? Good night. Come home. <laughs> but he, you know, he loved his cows, his dairy cows. I like them. What do you think? I like it. And it's simple, right? Simple and to the point. And you know what? I am going to write. Um, I am going to journal a little bit around these pictures. Just so that, you know, years... Well, I'll know. But just so that years later, if somebody's, you know, my kids are looking at this book and they're like... Okay, Mom, what is the deal with the butter dish? Which they all know this. 
Um, and I'm sure they all know these other two too, but you know, you never know. They might say, what? <laughs> so let me go ahead and get some journaling done and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm just playing around writing on here. This one I wrote, please be nice and hold open the door. This one says, put your knife on your own plate. Um, I'm just uni using a Uniball Signo in black. Right now I'm using a Sharpie. And this is my pet. Peeves. P. E. That's what. P. V. E. S. So pet peeves. Now this, let me just real quick hit this. And make sure that it's dry enough for me to write on. And this one is going to say leave, please. Leave. My tail alone all right so I hope you guys have enjoyed this today um, here's my pet peeves yeah I have a few I'm sure everybody else has a few too I can't wait to see what yours are and you know how do I get over it well people need to be nicer um, People need to understand, put your knife on your own plate, not on the butter dish. And, you know, leave the cows, the tails, cows, the cows tails alone. That's just cruel. Just plain cruel. So, there you have it, guys. My pet peeves. Three pet peeves. All right? So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Definitely go in the description box below and check out the other artists that are working on this project with me. Um, Gina and I, you know, we really have fun doing these. We've got Shemi Dixon as well as Ann Williamson this year working along with us. <clears throat> if you have any questions, don't be afraid to let us know. Ask, we'll answer. All right, and as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!